Hi, I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. Thank you for tuning into this video. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new content. And go to kinesiologyinstitute.com to learn more about applied kinesiology. So as you see right here, this is uh, the chart, the wall chart, which the folio has each page. So central meridian, and it is, um, it says related to nighttime. It's more the yin aspect of the, the reservoir meridians. And so the neural lymphatics right here, these are great ones to do. And they are um, like right inside the shoulder on the outside of the chest wall. So get your fingers in there right now. And so for me, I'm just taking my fingers like that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad we're having this class. I'm going to be feeling great by the end of the day. <laughs> Yow. Now, sometimes the tenderness, because I'm doing a lot of push-ups, could be from just muscles being worked. But often, when you're doing a neural lymphatic point, and you'll find as you keep rubbing it with firm pressure, I've got the, you know, the pads of my fingers here. And you can do both at the same time, but it's, uh, it's a little easier to have the muscle relax that you're working on rather than over. And then I'm going to get the other side. Now, this is stimulating energy flow and lymphatic flow through the brain. Now, lymphatic is, again, our sewer system, but it's also delivering nutrition, particularly fats, to cells. Fats are our main energy for endurance. You know, we want to be burning fat to keep us in high energy, not just sugar, which is basically then gets us low blood sugar if we're doing too much sugar burning and not fat burning. Now the points in the back are like here. Go right under the skull. They're just at the top of the neck, right under the skull, and rub those right now. See how that feels. Okay, now we'll do the neurovascular points. There's three for these. The frontal eminences, which in the book, it's called point number 11 in the Touch for Health book. And that's the frontal eminences. So if you go above the eyebrow, you'll feel a little bump there. You're going to touch with, I touch two or three fingers and the thumb on the other side. And so I'm touching here. At the same time, you can touch the anterior fontanelle. Again, if you want to find that, put the heel of your hand here and where the fingers end up, that is the anterior fontanelle. So you're going to breathe deeply as you do that. And that's just a light touch with a slight tugging up on the skin towards the apex of the head. And as I do that, getting more blood flow and oxygen to the brain. Ah, okay, about 20 seconds on that. And then let's stroke up from basically the pubic bone. You're going to stroke up to right here. That's conception vessel 24. So again, pubic bone up the midline. You don't even have to touch the body, but you can just lightly touch it or just be within an inch or two. And two or three times up there. Ah, so see how that feels. See how you feel after doing that. 